Shida yangu ilianzia mwezi wa 11. Nilikuwa nafua nguo na nikatereza kwa bafu na mguu yangu kwa hip joint ikapata fracture. Alafu mgongo tika diska moja kakaruka. So nikawa na struggle na nikaenda hospitali kinyata na nikafanyua surgery. Nikafanyua hip replacement. Then wakati ya iza kia ligonjeka, kabidi ni mshugurikia. Sababu usina mtu mwingine mwenye angeweza kushugurikia ya iza. Ati ya hiyo movement, hile replacement ikatumika. Na ikawa sasa nimelemewa kabisa vile nikuwa natembea na clutches. Nigu ikakata. Na nikawa nikona shida kubwa sababu lazima ninge shugurikia ya iza. Kwa vile hali yake haikuwa nzuri ya takidoku. Ikabidi, kwanza nitulie, tuwako ya uhai wa iza. Alafu, nikuja ni nitakuja kutibiwa baadaye sasa nimekuwa nikitafuta mahali ambapo naweza pata hospitali yenye naweza nisaidia angalau nipate matibabu kwa haraka kwa sababu niko na ah, watoto wote wameniangalia juu iwe ni mama ya Grace iwe ni hawa ah, bado tu wako kwa mikono yangu kwa hivyo nikaona mimi hata nikikaa chini naendelea kuumia hali yangu inaendelea kuwa ngumu maisha inaendelea kuwa ngumu kwangu kwa sababu Nikiwa nimekaa hapa chini siwezi nikapata shilingi hata moja. Of which mimi ndio breadwinner kwangu. Mimi ndio nisaidie hao watoto. Mtoto kama Grace saa hizi nimeletewa. Ana huwa anafungana kifua. Nikiwa nimeketi hapa chini sitaweza kuangalia huyo mtoto vile inafaa sababu akiweza fungana siwezi nikakimbia nimpeleke akaone daktari. Ikakuwa ni challenge na mama yake amekuwa mgonjwa. Ako bed rest hakuna vile anaweza kaa na mtoto kulingana na hali yenye yako nayo. Uh, nikaona ni vizuri kwa sababu hana mwingine mwenye atakimbilia msaidie nikajitolea nikasema nitaweza kukaa na ye kuliko tupoteze mtoto in the name maybe ni nza ama amepata shida kulingana na vile mama yake yako sasa nilikuwa naona ningetibiwa ningeshukuru sana na niweze kuamka niweze kushughulikia watoto na familia yangu yote kwa pamoja kwa sababu inanihitaji kabisa familia yangu inanihitaji watoto wananihitaji wote hadi aiza bado wanahitaji vitu ambazo zinahitaji pesa sababu nikiwa nimeketi hapa siwezi nikapata shilingi hata moja aiza kana anahitajika colostomy bag of which saa zingine unatumia tatu kwa siku of which hizo tatu kwa siku moja ni 560 yani anatumia na unaenda unapata kwa sababu analala na tumbo inatoka na ikishatoka huwezi ukairudisha uka, 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 tena sababu ile waxi nimeshikilia imeisha Napata hiyo ugumu wote mpaka inafika mahali na, na give up in my sababu niko na niko supposed kuwa nasaidia watoto wangu lakini ile nguvu sina chakula yenye baby grace anafaa kupewa ni nakosa na si hati kwa sababu nikiweza kuwa natembea nitashindwa lakini kulingana na condition yenye niko nayo ninalemewa kwa hivyo mimi nilikuwa naomba yote mwenye anaweza kunisaidia simame na mimi kwa wakati huu Niweze tu hata kutembea ni mke niweze kushughulikia watoto jinsi ambavyo wanatakikana. Hello good people. We are back with a very moving story. And um, three weeks ago I was here na tuka highlight story ya Isaac. Na Isaac um, alikuwa na vidonda makalio. Um, we are able to get funds to kumpeleka pale Kijabe Hospital to come say dear and i want to thank you for your support now isaac is okay so he's ended there kupona ashukuru sana and when i was here we spoke about um, isaac and the mom na mama mkonge uh, kileta shida lianguka kwa bafu na amekuwa mgonjwa so and what we decided to do is to shughulikia isaac isaac akishatibiwa sasa tukuje kwa mama itwa elizabeth na elizabeth atuelezea what happened with her back says so her wheelchair and ndio amekuwa kila kitu ndio uh, alikuwa chakula ndio kila kitu nashukuru wanyo alijitokeza pia wakalipa rent siku mbili tatu na sasa hizi kijana ko sawa tunaelekea kusimama na yeye na uh, tunaelekea kusimama na familia and sasa before atakupata umstana umtoto ni wa mtoto wake uh, nakumbuka nimekusaiva life nimekuwa kitembea sana na umtoto when to a baby grace na Grace wa alizaliwa alizaliwa na hiyo vimbe nyuma. Na tukampeleka pale Kijabe Hospital, tukangangana kutoka Kijabe kwa tumo 10 week, tukakaa pale kama wiki. Na mtoto akapigwa picha, akaangaliwa kabisa, 
nakaambiwa hapa ndio brain iko na kila kitu na daktari akatuambia kumfanya surgery itakuwa ni kumuua na waka decline hiyo surgery na tukaamua sasa kenye tutafanya tutatembea na huu mtoto na tu empower familia eh mtu anaitwa baby grace huu mtoto huyu ni anti yake because alichukua mama yake akiwa mdogo venye mama yake aliaga so eh, na we tuliona sasa mtoto ata ata atafanywa ata, ata surgery tukempower familia basi sasa mtoto huu msichana amekuwa mgonjwa kwa sasa na ndio kwa maana sasa amemletea sasa um, Elizabeth akaina yeye so you can imagine ako na huu mtoto ako na Isaac bado ni mgonjwa na yeye mwenyewe ni mgonjwa it's a quite it's a quite sto- uh, sad story and when we heard this story na watu wengi walimwambia sasa mam unafaa sasa ujue shida ni nini yeye ni akasema alirogwa asi tukasema because ni wa Kristo tutasimama na yeye because as you can see kama tungesema Isaac ni kurogwa angetibiwa kwa sababu amefanya hiyo surgery ako sawa huko mtu tuliambiwa surgery ilifanyika but bado tunaomba because we are tuliend hospital alipoa 3 months sasa kuna miaka ngapi kuna mwaka na miezi nne mwaka na miezi nne tulipoa na daktari kuambua huko mtu aishi only 3 months because really venye ile ni kwa hapa brain yake iko hapa macho yake soke za macho ziko hapa ataeziona so tukaambua kukata hiyo ni kumuua you can imagine yeah? like they can do the surgery now compare three months but you can see now this baby is one year four months that is what god can do but we're not talking about grace baby grace we're not talking about uh, uh, isaac na tunashukuru sana for your support and may god bless you may god bless you let's continue transforming lives now isaac is okay baby grace tunamulea kwa sawa sio kwa sababu mama ni mgonjwa kwa sasa na kitu imeni 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 gora sana ama imeni 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 guza sana mi kusikia mama yake mama au mtoto ako na mimba few months now na tulimpeleka pale hospitali akaangaliwa kaambua pia mtoto mwenye ako na amebeba pia hako sawa you can imagine as a family what this mama is going through because the girl thought that now if i get the second pregnancy will be better now the girl is traumatized the girl now ako traumatized kabisa you can imagine umeenda clinic umeambiwa paka mtoto umebeba hauko sawa because when alipata huo mtoto aliambiwa mtoto aliambiwa mtoe nataka sana mtoto mtoe atamuongoja the same the second now a pregnancy and i'm the same thing you can imagine is a quite sad scenario and some people ask why we are here twice and I, I i promise you we also come here again because this family is going through a lot is going through a lot is a quite traumatizing traumatizing story yeah the mama is alianguka yeye ndo alikuwa kila kitu because before alikuwa na uzama yaye and she was trying because atume kuja kumtafutia chakula but when alianguka mgongo ikagonjeka sana kwa wheelchair This young boy amekuwa mgonjwa for quite some time. Ameletoa mtoto. You can imagine. It's a quite sad story. But we have done this before. Do this together. And today we are just focusing on her story. Tumbelekaji hospitali. Tumbelekaji hospitali. And may God bless you as your purpose to support. And remember that service to humanity is service to god and the hand that give it receive it more